name is Christopher Bush and I'm orientation leader for UCF's Office of First Year Experience. UCF's orientation team is comprised of students who are dedicated to the university and to helping others. OT members facilitate the numerous first time in college and transfer student orientation sessions that take place here at UCF. OT members assist our brand new nights with advising, discovering on-campus resources, and class registration. OT members are trained to be customer service specialists to provide the best quality transitional experience into UCF. Today, I'm going to interview three of our orientation coordinators who oversee the orientation program and ensure that each person is satisfied with their first experience into UCF. As an orientation leader, we have to take a semester-long course to help improve our communication skills. I'm sitting here with Jason Skidmore, one of the student orientation coordinators for the 2014-2015 orientation team. So Jason, as a previous O-teamer, how has this class helped improve your communication skills? I think the class truly makes us aware of our non-verbal communication. Um, as individuals, we're usually pretty aware of our verbal speaking skills, but we're not usually aware of what's on our face or how our body is. Um, over the summer, we'll get small groups of students, and those students can ask a lot of questions, a lot of the times repeating themselves. So if we answer those questions with negative facial expressions or closed up body language, that can make the students shy away from us O-teamers. Um, as O-teamers, we want to be positive peer mentors to them. So no matter how many times we answer the same question, we have to make sure we do it with a smile and with open body language. Interacting with approximately 27,000 people in a given year, the orientation team has to be very knowledgeable about campus resources. Jamal, as an orientation leader, how are you prepared to answer a multitude of questions that students and family members might have for you? Uh, well, during May, we have an intensive two-week session that we call Major, where we hear from every single campus partner about the resources that they provide to students. Uh, we take notes on all the resources, and when we do, we also go over an exercise that we try to think for five seconds before we answer any questions. And then by doing that, we're able to properly assess which resource would be right for the student or family member, depending on what their situation is. I know over the summer, there are a lot of students and family members who didn't know the difference between financial aid and student accounts. So by knowing the difference between them both, I was able to help them figure out where they would need to go for each of their situations. We talked about the semester-long course and the intense May training that every orientation leader has to go through. Now, let's hear about how the orientation team applies customer service techniques. So Jesse, how does the orientation team ensure a welcoming experience for every student? When the students arrive at orientation, they have to park in garage A, but the check-in they go to is in the student union, which is on the other side of campus. So to make that a more pleasant experience, we have OTMers stationed um, along that path to direct the students and welcome them and answer any questions as they're walking towards the union. When the OTMers are standing out there, we ask that they are not on their phones, they're smiling, show positive body language, and also we ask that they point either with a full hand or with two fingers, because pointing with one finger um, doesn't look as nice. Another thing we do to ensure a good experience for the students is at check-in, we ask them what name they would prefer on their name tags so that we can pick up on their nicknames or um, any other names they might use that aren't their given names because that shows we care about them as individuals, we want to get to know them, and we want to respect um, how they want to be called. 